Hi, welcome to TechPix. This is Ricky, and this is a review of Oort Smart Devices Ecosystem. Now, Oort, it's uh, basically a company that makes smart devices, connected smart devices that use low energy Bluetooth uh, 4.0 to connect to your phone. Re today, I'm going to review three of their devices. First one is the smart LED, uh, and then uh, the smart socket, and the smart finder. Uh, they connect to your phone and you download the app, uh, the Orch app, and uh, uh, the thing about them is um, the app is new, so I would say there is few bugs and there's few problems that I run into, uh, but I'm very sure that uh, I'm, many users are going to use the app, uh, we're going to have bug reports and everything for them to fix the problems of whatever going on in the app. But the devices are really great. They do great job if the app works uh, fine. So I'm going to start with the smart LED. Uh, I, I like that you can change it to any colors. You control it via Bluetooth. The setup was very easy. Just put the light bulb in the, in the socket and uh, turn it on and then go to the app, add a device and you will find it and you will be able to control it. You can also change the mode uh, of the of the of the light, so it could be flashing, it could be uh, like romantic. It could change colors every once in a while. You can decide how long does it take for it to change colors, and also you can have a sleeping timer, wake up timer, and everything uh, with, with the lights. You can group um, more than one light together, like in one room uh, you have one group and you can control them when you when you want to wake up or when you go to sleep they turn on and off by themselves and um, for the light I had no problems uh, unless when I added when I changed the mode into let's say party mode where it's flashing and I was trying to connect to the light again while it's flashing the app kept saying trying to connect to the light and it couldn't connect to the light until I turned it off and turn the lights back on and the flash mode was already off because I turned it off and that's when it connects back to the light. Um, it, again, it's, it's a brand new app uh, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they will be working on all the problems that this thing's run into but the lights great, the colors are amazing and all the settings and the app and the ability to control everything about the light is just great and they're, they're really cheap. Um, the light itself is like $38 on Amazon currently and it does a great job connecting via Bluetooth. I don't have the hub, I didn't try the hub yet uh, to control them from um, outside of my uh, Bluetooth uh, range but without the hub while with the Bluetooth range inside the house uh, it connected very good. It goes up to 100 feet uh, away from the device uh, but really for Bluetooth and uh, it depends on the obstructions in the uh, environment where you are in the house like walls and stuff like that. Uh, the second device is the Oort Smart Socket. The smart socket is great idea. I love that you can connect it uh, just easily. Just put it in the uh, wall uh, outlet, and it will automatically go to the app and find it. And you will connect. Very easy to connect. Um, when I tried the socket without connecting anything to it, it's very quick to turn on and off via the app. Once I connected a device to the socket, it took a little while to uh, turn on and off and sometimes it got stuck for a, a long time and, and then it didn't do anything. I don't know what it is but again it's, it's a new app, new devices that's eventually with software updates to the app it will fix all the bugs and the problems but the device itself it's perfect five stars out of five stars uh, because you can actually go into the setting of the smart socket and you can change or you can actually put overload warning, uh, you can put a timer where you can turn it on in the morning like you have a coffee maker, you turn it on in the morning at 6 o'clock, it will turn on by itself and then turn off after you leave. Uh, it's, there's a lot of settings you can uh, do with it and it actually can tell you how much energy it's using, the device, uh, what, what the energy costs and everything. It's this really cool um, way to interact with the smart socket and again the price is it's really affordable price uh, comparing to many other smart devices. 
and then the last but not least is the smart finder smart finder is just a little tiny tile a little tiny uh, device that you, I, I connected it into my keys and I called it keys and the app and uh, all it does is um, if you lost something and that tile is, uh, it's, it's attached to that thing you go to the app and you press on it and it will give you uh, bars and those bars change or goes up the closer you get to the device it basically tells you you're getting close so uh, you will hold the phone and you'll be walking around and trying to find it at the same time if you press the speaker button the little tile will make a small noise it has a small speaker inside it's very very small you really is not that loud uh, so but you can I, I were able to hear it from all the way to the other side of the house um, but there was no noise around me or anything uh, that was very quiet in the house so I don't know I don't think you'll be able to hear it in loud environment but uh, the ability to know how close are you to the actual device you're looking for it's great the tile was the only one that I had no problems with whatsoever it was perfect the setup the installation and you know, the execution of everything about it was good there was no bugs about it and I liked it um, overall or smart devices or or ecosystem um, it's a great idea the light works perfectly the colors are great bright and uh, the settings works just fine small bugs can be fixed in the app uh, the socket the same thing works great uh, few bugs in the app could, could be fixed and uh, make the uh, the process or the overall environment uh, better and the tile was great idea it's a little bit big but ORT is uh, saying they're making uh, new devices they're going to make a smaller tiles they will be adding more and more things into the ecosystem of ORT uh, using the smart hub you can connect all those devices into the smart hub and even if you are away from the house you can control all those devices but if you don't have the hub and you don't want to buy a hub for hundred and seventy dollars hundred seventy something dollars you can use all those devices without a hub but you have to be within the Bluetooth range of the device you're trying to control basically you have to be inside the house um, again Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Just search for TechPix, and uh, we will be sharing a lot of reviews and giveaways with you guys. Thank you. Peace.